Hi there, Paul Dombowski from Liberty Street Software. We received a couple questions recently regarding Home Manage. And they pertain to if you run a home inventory business and you have multiple clients that you inventory their, their locations. In Home Manage, you can create unlimited locations. The way to do that is just click on this new location toolbar and let you enter a new location with number and code if you need to and description. Uh, we've already got two set up in this uh, installation. And uh, the first question was, how do you change the name? So let's say we want to change my house to the name of a client's house. Let's call it Dombowski Residence. So you just click on the name and change the name to what you want. And there you go. Another way to do it is to right mouse click and select properties. And there you can add a change the name, add a number, description, etc. Second question was, how do you add a header to a report? If you run a home inventory business and you're producing reports for your clients, you would like to have your company name at the top of the report. Uh, so to do that, you're going to select Reporting, Edit Report. Let's go ahead and uh, edit the Asset List Report. And you see here, that's what it looks like now. Now to make room for the company name, we'll just, um, we're going to reduce the size of the asset manager report title, which is generate, which shows you what is being output in the report, for example, a particular location or category or whatever. So we'll make that a little bit smaller. And now we need to, we're going to enter the company name here. To do that, first just click on insert. And we're going to enter a text field. So we click on text. And next thing to do is to define the size of the text. So we've done that there. As soon as we do that, you notice that the company that the um, report designer brings up uh, this window here and it's asking us what do we want to put in the text field now it's possible to put in all sorts of things variables functions you name it but we're just going to put in our company name so we'll just call our company Ocho Rios Home Inventory Ocho Rios is the name of a vacation city in Jamaica that I go to often so uh, click OK. As you can see here, Ocho Rios has been entered. Um, it's kind of small. It should be a bigger font. So we can double click on it. Click here on the Appearance Font section and you can easily change the name. I'm sorry, the attributes of the text. So we'll make it bold and a little bit bigger. Bold 18. Hit OK. And there it is right there. So we're going to save our report. You can save it manually or if you exit if you exit the report designer and it's not saved it'll prompt you to do so so let's run a report and um, asset list lst file we edited is run is the one that's run when you click on list of items so select list of items output you got many different output uh, formats pdf pdf would be handy if you're producing reports for clients and you can email them uh, the report uh, you can easily include the inventory as a PDF uh, attachment to your email but just for this uh, demo we're going to select preview start as you can see here the company name is now on that report so that's uh, that's an answer to those two questions thank you very much for listening